Hello guys, my name is Muhammad Farid bin Zimin. My matrix number is BB2211547. So today I'm going to make a self reflection about my vlog. And at the beginning, I and my group are having a meeting to choose uh, the team that we we are going to use to make our vlog. And from the meeting, we decide to choose health and nutrition as the theme of our vlog. I from the meeting too. I also choose nasi bujang as the topic of my vlog. And why I choose nasi bujang as the topic of my vlog? Because for me, I think nasi bujang is a very important food for me as a student, and I think it also a very important food to all of all student in UMS and maybe for all students around Malaysia. Why I'm saying that? Because nasi bujang has a very reasonable price, around two ringgit to three ringgit only. And the nutrition you get from nasi bujang is a very good very good for your health and can avoid you from hunger all day. I think the experience I get from not, from making this activity, it helped me to talk more, to give me courage to talk in front of camera and help me to talk in front of people. And help me to practice my English better. I I record my video by using my own phone, Realme 5i, and use the application CapCut as the platform for me to edit my blog. I hope from my blog, uh, who is watching my blog, they will get a better view about Nasi Bujang, and I hope it will help everyone to save their money to get the food by eating nasi bujang. That's all for me. Thank you for watching. Bye. Assalamualaikum and hello to Saafman and all my friends. My name is Nurul Najih Abdul Abdulatif and I'm her uh, metric card BB2211074 and I'm from FP. So now I will going to talk about self reflection about the vlog video I uh, of last evening of last evening I was great. Okay, first thing I would like to show to share at all uh, for all I create the vlog. The first challenge is the condition of the place where I record. I record the vlog in my own faculty, namely FP. Not also noisy student talking or friend disturbing me, but there are some that cause me not to focus on recording. For example, the sound of bird, workers scratching garbage, and so on. In addition, only recording this video using my own phone, which is indeed only one, and when recording. I take a rather long time because my phone storage is rather insufficient. My feeling are uh, almost hopeless because every time I record, I have to first extinguish the material in the phone in order to prepare my vlog. In that vlog, I just record a video with my illumination and just use it a uh, template because the vlog I did was let's uh, eat laksa pinang. So in Sabah, it's hard to find a restaurant that has such a menu to make a real vlog. Even though I uh, come out, um, I did not find what I was looking for. Because here famous, here famous with uh, laksa Sarawak. So I had to use the laksa template and existing knowledge to make this content, this content, even though 
uh, I know it's hard to find but I still continue to make this vlog because I have long wanted to eat this laksa and it's all a little bit can release my desire even if it's a, just a vlog okay that's all for me thank you Assalamualaikum and hello to my fellow friends. Uh, my name is Daeng Nur Azika binti Rosbin. My metric number is BB22110565. Alright, uh, today I want to uh, do some reflection of my blog presentation. The first thing that I want to talk is about the uh, procedure during making the blog video blog. Uh, actually, before the uh, before I record the video for this blog, I need to uh, I need to search more info about the food that I want to talk in my blog. Uh, the the uh, the topic that I was the food that I was choose is about nyonya kui. Besides that, I have to prepare the slide uh, about the nyonya kui before that i will before i making the video record the video the next step is i need to record the video the step by step i need to talk and about and explain about that queen nyonya in my that in my blog uh, secondly the challenges that i am facing during this during making the video blog firstly is uh I have a difficult to search and find the restaurant that sell the nyonya kui because I need to uh, get more info and things about the nyonya kui such as the making method types of nyonya kui and so on. So the secondly is that I was facing during the during the making the video for the blog is I need to took video many times because i always forget my script and <laughs> i always forget what i want to talk in that video blog last but not least uh, the benefit after making this video video blog about the nyonya kui it's i know more about the nyonya kui and also uh, especially is peranakan baba nyonya because we know this community is very uh, very special and unique in Malaysia. So, uh, besides that, uh, the benefit that I was f after this making this video is I have tried the the types of nyonya kui, uh, and the the differences of the tests of nyonya kui, and that's it. Uh, last but not least, I think. Uh, as Malaysians, we need to try the nyonya kui, and we should learn uh, how to make the nyonya kui because it's uh, the one of conventionally popular in Malaysia. That's all for me. Thank you. So, hi guys, I'm Salani, and I'm, today I will do self reflection about my blog that I do is about the let's eat, it's about the satay so I will explain to you guys how complicated yes. I do it uh, and the process and why I choose the thing so firstly I will talk how the complicated I do it uh, at the time I do it is almost almost to do due date because I almost forget about it so I really really in hurry la, to do that vlog and I actually want to the vlog about I eat satay but in, at the time I am in hurry so I just doing slide so it's very very challenge for me to the doing the vlog so and the second why I choose the team uh, because my group and my or my teammate won the teams because them say is all about food and healthy and uh, it's easy to find uh, and we can easy to find the facts about it and then uh, that's good luck for us because easy to explore about it and easy to see how you do it by itself uh, and 
the last day I, s I will talk about my vlog. Uh, I'm so happy because my vlog is come su successful and it's make our team work more good and that's all for me. Thank you. Hi everyone, my name is Pojarina Stephen with matrix number BB2211073. So in this video, I want to do um, self-reflection for my presentation. So firstly is a procedure. Firstly, I choose theme and topic first. So the theme that I choose is let's eat and the topic that I choose is nasi lemak. I choose nasi lemak because nasi lemak is a Malaysian popular cuisine. Nasi lemak also we can get it everywhere around Malaysia, and nasi lemak also we can eat um, every every long a day, which is breakfast, lunch, and dinner. So before I record my video, I do storyboard template first. So in this um, template. Uh, I I include ingredients of nasi lemak, types of nasi lemak, how to prepare nasi lemak, and a little bit history about nasi lemak. So many challenge that I face during recording and create this vlog. So firstly, it's about confident. I'm a type of person that not being so much confident. Um, in front camera so every time i record my video i can be serious and also i can remember what i want to say in front camera so secondly is i also confuse place where i want to record my video so last 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 time i um just picked the one chancellor um, because the one chancellor is a quiet place for me so not only that i also um bad person in editing video so i just um i just um, use two kind of application um to edit my video so the application is canva and filmora so before i i editing my video using that um, application i research first how to use that um application to do a creative vlog so what i get from this vlog first is new knowledge so i get new knowledge about nasi lemak via browse it on google not only that i have uh, many experience in editing my vi vi video so this is good for my future life not only that i also feel like a hardworking person to create this vlog because i'm not a type of person that um good in front camera and editing and something like that so that's all from me thank you everyone for hear my um, presentation thank you for your attention Th that's all from me thank you bye